to uh, just make you a little video on how I use Roam Research so you can just see it kind of in action. Um, so when you log in, it takes you to your daily notes. Uh, today is March 22nd. And so every day you just kind of take some notes. And then that's usually a good jumping off point to get you into the rest of your notes, get you deeper into your little matrix of... Uh, of knowledge. Um, so what'll usually happen is at some point in the day I'll be reading a, an article, like I've been reading this one on the coronavirus, and I'll come across something that I think is interesting. And I like this quote where he says, it's like an elephant being attacked by a house cat, frustrated and trying to avoid the cat, the elephant accidentally jumps off a cliff and dies. It's a fun metaphor, so I will copy that. I'll just throw it in to um, uh, in, in here. And so now it's this quote, and um, I can do a couple things from here. First off, I might just want to remind myself that this is about the coronavirus. So um, I will, I can write coronavirus. And the main thing that you can do in here is um, you can either do it before or after you write a word, but you just hit bracket bracket. And it, um, when you click off this, this now becomes a page. Now my coronavirus page doesn't have anything on it except for it's linked to other things that I've clipped, even though I haven't linked them together. It has unlinked references in there. But uh, going back to my daily notes, so I could have this coronavirus, and then to make sure I know that this quote comes from there, I'll drop it down one, I'll tab in. So now I can roll it up in there, or keep it down there. And as I'm looking at it, this is a really nice metaphor, but I might think, well, what's the, you know, what's the, um, the hard evidence behind it? So I could dip back in here and read this. So population-wide case fatality rate of 0 0.05 is lower. Okay, so this is the kind of this is the fact that it's based off of. So ba ba ba, and so maybe I'll grab this whole thing. Um, and actually, when they tell you to use it, they they make a big deal out of saying don't um, copy and paste like I'm doing right now. They don't make a big deal, but that's kind of the the philosophy behind it. But what I end up doing is I end up copying and pasting some stuff, and then I'll jump in on um, things like, let's see, like like fatality rate. That's an interesting one. So we could put that there. We could jump into fatality rate and see if we see it anywhere else. We don't right now, but maybe in the future there'll be something about fatality rate. Or uh, we could say seasonal influenza. We'll, we'll just try influenza and see where that takes us. Uh, put some brackets around that see what, what's on the influenza page. So again, I guess I don't have a lot about the coronavirus on here, but as I do more research, it's going to be coming up more and more. Um, anything else we want to pull out, walking down, with potentially tremendous social financial consequences, totally rational. All right, so then I'm looking at it, and if I want to, I can also, I can drop in uh, the URL, um, or I could... Uh, uh, do a little slash and uh, pick external link and that'll give me a spot to um, paste it and then in between the brackets I'd be like link so now that now there's a link to where I got it from you can also do hashtags so like hashtag uh, let's see hashtag statistic statistic uh, and so that'd be a nice Thing where I could come back later after I put enough things under the hashtag statistic, I can go to that page. Um, and then as you do this, you build things out, and then you can, it's kind of structured um, note taking right there. But then let's say I want to switch uh, gears now and I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. So I can just, I can get there right away a couple ways. One, I have my shortcut there. Uh, so I can always click into my DD page, which I have um, a little bit more organized than the rest or if I'm you know if I'm sometimes if I'm just in the middle of doing something I'll just make a new um, I'll just make a new link to the page and just jump in it right away uh, oops, excuse me. Ooh, external linking I like that and uh, so um, let's see Uh, you can, there's a lot of like shortcuts. I just did command O on top of the link that takes me right in here. I have some, um, some notes and, uh, let's see, I think if I click in on, which one did I do this for? I think I did it for armor. 
uh, I made a, an armor table. So you can make tables like this and there and uh, yeah, you jump all around. So the idea is that you're connecting all of these um, thoughts together and the main thing that you're doing, I mean, there's a lot of interesting things to, to use, but like um, this whole uh, doing two brackets and then typing anything. Let me think of something interesting to type. Um, let's talk about, let's see if America comes up with anything. I don't know if it will, but. Uh, oh, 46 unlinked references to America. So throughout all my stuff I can go through, there's conspiracy that is talking about American dad. So that's one way. Uh, right here on March 5th, I was talking about how President Joe Biden met with uh, Prime Minister Yatsen, Yatsenyuk, Yatsenyuk, Yatsenyuk. See, so this is one thing I would do. If I saw something like Joe Biden, um, I'd be like, how come Joe Biden isn't on a thing right there? And then I would also probably do Yatsenyuk, because that sounds interesting. And who knows when that's going to pop up later. And I would do Ukraine, too, because who wouldn't want to read about that later? Uh, ooh, Alexandra Chalupa. I have a two? Okay, so that's a, an external article. That's one thing that I'm, I'm kind of trying to figure out is the best way to um, separate uh, pages within Realm versus the external articles. So what I'll do sometimes is I'll keep both. Um, and so now it'll just be like Alexander Chalupa, Alexander Chalupa. Uh, 11 unique references to the Chalupa lady. Um, and yeah, so there's all this stuff about America. We're jumping over to uh, Kaizen by improving standardized programs and processes. Kaizen aims to eliminate waste. This is a, like a Japanese principle. Uh, Roger Smith, one of the characters in American Dad. <laughs> it's my favorite. Uh, I have a whole bunch about him. Oh man, I'm revealing how much I like American Dad. Uh, this is from a uh, podcast that I had to do a transcript of. This is from uh, an old man's um, like 1990s website that I found where he talked about the Native American prayer and fables. So you can see, and then so the idea is that eventually your, uh, your ideas all get interconnected like this. And I can almost guarantee I can pick out which one's Dungeons and Dragons. I bet it's this one. Yeah, that's D&D. Let's get the other one. I think the other one might just be spells in D&D because I, I entered a lot of those. You see where it's all connecting. And then what's cool is to, like, say I'm in the spell thing and I hit, like, shift click on wizard. Wizard's going to open up here, or let's say, uh, on one of my characters, Garros, and then I can see all of his spells here. I don't know. So there's, it's very easy to maneuver around, and you just keep taking notes and keep making connections. And so even just right now as I've been making this video, like I, you know, I click, I made a Joe Biden page, but I bet there was already one. No. So now I have a Joe Biden page. And so from now on, uh, anything I read about Joe Biden is going to pop up here. Um, and the nice thing is, is like, I don't use this for any one thing in particular. I use it a lot for Dungeons and Dragons, obviously. <laughs> But I also kind of use it just when I'm like, I use it for my work, I use it for private stuff, and anytime I'm just reading anything and I want to remember it, I put it in here. It's so easy to find stuff. The, the uh, search is great, and um, you have your importance. There's one other uh, you can do, like, um, uh, it, it's very easy for um, to do. Uh, you just hit Command Enter, and it makes it to do, and any to do you. Uh, command you make turns it into a box and those all show up in your to do's which is cool um, I don't know if this would be my favorite oh I might have to end this video Kosh is getting crazy anyway so that's a good <laughs> she doesn't want me to talk about this anymore alright 